Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to go over today is wiring four of our speakers, single voice coil, four ohm subs, and parallel. Come out the final load to go to an amplifier. We always want to make sure that all of our speakers are the same ohm load to start out. If you have an ohm load that's different in here, if you're trying to mix twos and fours, eights, fours, etc., you're going to end up with the wrong impedance for a sub. The lower one's going to pull current dry. You could run into other problems with your amps, final output. So, what we're going to do is start off, we're going to wire them all in parallel. As you notice on the back side of all your single voice coil subs, you have one positive and one negative. Basically, the parallel is connect them all together, all of our positives together and all of our negatives together. So I'll start with this last speaker here. We'll go on our positive, positive, negative, negative. Daisy chain all of them together like is. We get to our last sub. All my negatives are connected together, from speaker to speaker, basically. Make sure all the wire, everything goes into your terminal. Make sure you don't have any loose connections hanging outside. Ground out to the basket. Make bad connections, etc. Could run into problems also. Let's do this real quick. Let's see what we can come out with. Make sure that everything's tied correct. Get all your positives in the right spots, all your negatives in the right spots. I'll use this last sub, go to my amplifier. So here, we'll tie my negative in. Positive. Signal will be sent from the amp, each speaker to each speaker, so everything will work. Now to check our final load, before we go into an amp or to help determine what amp we're going to need, take our multimeter on an ohm setting, take a positive lead of our speaker wire, to our meter, negative lead to the meter. We're going to read roughly around 1, 2 to 1, 3 commonly. So this means that I'm going to look for an amplifier that can produce, using comps, going to be roughly around 600 watts at a 1 ohm load. I never want to have my ohm load of my speakers lower than what the amplifier recommends. So guys who run setups that run all parallel, this will be their final load is a 1-3. If you have an amplifier that's 2 ohm stable, then you're going to run into problems with your amp shutting down. Higher volumes, etc. The amp won't work, so you never want to go lower than the ohm load of what the amplifier recommends. So, 4 comps, 4 ohm, wired in parallel, comes out to a total of 1.3. Thanks.